Okay, so now how this alcohol is going to show a halophone reaction? Let's see. What will happen is when we take uh, 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 NaOH and halogen, if we take this alcohol, suppose we take ethanol, then the base that we have taken, that will of course show acid-base reaction with this. And we are going to get ethoxide. Now this ethoxide is going to do the same thing as did was done by C minus. Remember the first step of halogenation haloform reaction was this base abstracted the hydrogen from this carbon and this carbon again reacted with halogen. So it put used to put its electron in the antibonding of one halogen and another halogen used to come out. The same thing would be done by this oxygen as well because x minus is much more stable than o minus so if there is a x this o will attack this x and this another x from the front will come out so in that way the charge will disappear from o because ox bond will be formed and appear on x and x minus is much more stable than o minus the system will overall will be stabilized fine what happens next is this o this 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 hydroxide ion abstracts a hydrogen from here when it abstracts a hydrogen from here what happens is this hydrogen is going to leave its electron and go away this with this space so this carbon is going to have developed negative charge polarity that negative charge polarity has to go somewhere that negative charge polarity goes into the antibonding orbital of oxygen. From this carbon, electrons shift towards antibonding orbital of oxygen. Now oxygen starts to gain negative charge polarity. So oxygen breaks the bond with this halogen. So halogen goes away. Now what will happen? Carefully see. This OH- is going to abstract this hydrogen. So this is going to come out as H2O. This C- minus is going to form a bond with this oxygen. So you are going to develop a C double bond O. And this X- minus is now going to come out. So what you are going to have? CH3, CH double bond O. This X is going to come out as X- minus, And this H and this OH- minus is going to form H2O. So now you have this carbonyl compound. So in presence of NaOH halogen, this alcohol is actually going to be oxidized to this carbonyl compound. And then you have to check the carbonyl compound if that is going to show haloform reaction or not. So if you have a 1 degree or if you have a 2 degree halogen, because one hydrogen is required for abstraction and one hydrogen is going to be left out here. So if you have a 1 degree halogen or if you have alcohol or if you have a 2 degree alcohol then that 1 degree or 2 degree is going to be oxidized to ketone. And once you have a ketone or aldehyde then look at that aldehyde and ketone if that has CH3 group on one side of C double bond O. Fine. So if you are given an alcohol and if you have been asked whether that alcohol will show haloform reaction or not then you have to oxidize that alcohol and look at the corresponding carbonyl compound and by looking at the carbonyl compound you can easily identify whether that carbonyl compound is going to give aloform reaction or not depending on whether that carbonyl compound has a CS3 group on one side of sterol bond or not. Okay, so in this case this becomes ethanol and ethanol has one CS3 group on one side of C double bond So this alcohol is going to give haloform reaction. Fine. So let's do a little bit of practice. I'm going to give you a list of alcohol and you find out which alcohol among those are going to give haloform reaction. One of course will be ethanol, just to repeat. And suppose you have propanol, one propanol. And then suppose you have two propanol or you have 2 butanol or you have 1 butanol or you have 
benzyl alcohol. All right. So quickly identify which alcohol is going to give haloform reaction based upon a discussion we had a moment back. You oxidize these alcohols and then get the corresponding carbonyl compound and then find whether that those carbonyl compounds are going to give haloform reaction or not. So how you, will you exactly oxidize this alcohol? I mean, I'm not going to repeat the step, but let's discuss quickly how you're going to do that. This hydrogen is going to be abstracted by base. So O minus is going to come here and then a halogen is going to be attached with oxygen and this is going to be abstracted by base again and then this electron is going to come here, this halogen is going to go away. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is remove this hydrogen and remove this hydrogen and then simply form C double bond O. So the carbon which is already making a single bond with oxygen, just make one more bond with that carbon and oxygen. And that that's how you will get the oxidized carbonyl compound. Fine, so that's how quickly you will do. So when you oxidize this, you get this. Is this going to give you haloform reaction? Does it have a methyl group on one side of C double bond O? Yes, it has. So yes, it will. Same case here, remove this hydrogen, remove this hydrogen, make a double bond with carbon. Is this going to give you haloform reaction? Is this going to, is th does this have a methyl group on one side of C double bond O? No, on one side you have ethyl group, on one side you have hydrogen. So it will not. Similarly, the carbon is, which is making a single bond with oxygen, make a double bond with that carbon. That's how you are going to get oxidized carbonyl compound. We have discussed this. This is settled. That's how you're going to oxidize this. This is acetone. You have methyl group on both the sides. So surely this will show haloform reaction. Look at this. The carbon which is making single bond make a double bond with that carbon. Yes, it has a methyl group on one side. So it will show. What about this alcohol? The carbon which is making a single bond with oxygen make a double bond with that carbon. It doesn't have methyl group on both sides. So sorry, it will not show. Benzoyl alcohol, come on. You just have one carbon outside the ring. You have hydrogen on one side, phenyl ring on the other side. This is not going to show haloform reaction. No. Is this going to show? No. Is this going to show? Oh yes, this is going to show. This is acetophenone. Fine. So you're done with this. You have mastered this. Very good. Because this becomes an important question. They give you four options. They'll ask you which of them will give haloform reaction. One of them will be alcohol. So you just don't have to remember that haloform reaction is shown by carbonyl compounds. And one of that alcohol in oxidized state will become a carbonyl compound that will show haloform reaction. So you have to be keen, you have to be vigilant to see that alcohols also give haloform reaction because alcohols are oxidized to carbonyl compound, which can give haloform reaction. Okay, so haloform reaction prima facie is done. This is what haloform reaction is. Now let's solve some problems that will help us concretize our concept in haloform reaction.